eczema is also called atopic dermatitis. That's our medical term for it, and it affects up to 10 or 15 percent of kids, so it's really quite common, and it usually starts the first year of life. And so typically two months, three months of age is when babies or infants will start showing signs of eczema. Oftentimes it's on the face. They'll get rash, dry, chapped cheeks. They'll have dry, itchy scalp. Um, they'll start getting red, scaly patches on their arms and legs. Um, the thing that's so striking about it, though, is it's so incredibly itchy. Um, my feeling is I want to stop them itching as soon as possible because I need them to sleep. If they're not sleeping, they're not happy, they're not healing well, their parents aren't happy. So what I like to see is I like turn these kids around very quickly, um, get their rash gone as fast as I can. They're sleeping well, they're doing better. Um, so I tend to be fairly aggressive with eczema, the treatment of eczema. Um, because if I'm dragging out treatments for months on end, I'm just not getting them better. They're not sleeping well or they're miserable. They have patches that are still persisting. And so I think in my later years of my career, I've gotten more aggressive with eczema and I turn these kids around more quickly with more aggressive treatments, but then they're healing much faster. And I also feel very strongly that the more control we have of eczema early in life, the better their prognosis later in life. Um, some of these kids who otherwise would go on to have eczema all their lives, especially those with really bad eczema. What I am seeing now in my later career is that we can actually turn these kids around and usually come three or four years of age, they are like almost cured. I mean, they're doing great. So I'm quite convinced and studies are starting to support the fact that the better control we have earlier in life, the better their outcomes later in life. And part of the treatment, we, yes, we use topical cortisones, topical steroids and most parents come in with a concern that oh these will thin their skin it might interfere with their development and I always have to reassure them I just generally don't tend to see that problem at all because again we use the medicines aggressively get the rash gone quickly and then they're not using medicines I, I generally feel you know that I've had a lot of really good success with eczema and I can't tell you all the countless thank yous I've heard over the years that um, have made a big difference, that um, these kids are better, they're sleeping better, they can function better. Um, I've seen five-year-olds who or six-year-olds who come to me just not functioning well in school because they're not getting good sleep, they're scratching, and distracted, and then next thing you know, we turn things around and they can really concentrate, they can feel good about themselves. Psychosocially, they're like, wow, look at me, I'm a normal kid.